coach. Marshall football held their first press conference on the 2023 season today. We talked about everything from new player additions, how certain position groups are looking, the new defensive coordinator Jason Seymour and how he's fitting into Huff's scheme, preseason accolades and much more. Huff opened it up by saying, quote, to me, this is like Christmas Day, day one of fall camp where there isn't a record yet. No wins, no losses, no stat lines, no cemented depth chart. Everything is wide open and the guy's love for the game is really on display during this time. Huff says he's excited for this next month of fall camp because right now it's all about football this one month here where we kind of just get to put ourselves in a bubble and really just concentrate on relationship building identity creating and football um, it is probably the best month of the year you know obviously when we get to the back end of this month school's going to start guys are going to have classes and being able to manage the other side but for the next three weeks three and a half weeks i mean you can really dive into what you say you love now, it was this time last year that a key player went down with a serious injury and the coaching staff was forced to reevaluate their whole offensive scheme. Now, though, Rashina Lee is back and at full health and more so they've added depth at every position, including running back and wide receiver, which has been an interesting position group in the past. That room is, you know, very deep, a um, lot of competition. Uh, young guys, old guys, great to have Fleet back. Chuck Montgomery, excited to see what, you know, Caleb McMillan, Caleb uh, Coombs, a bunch. I mean, we got names from transfers. I mean, it's a very deep room, and, and the competition this, this uh, fall camp will definitely show up in that room, along with the tight end room, O-line room, running back. I mean, we're, that's the deepest we've ever been, and that's, you know, last year with having injuries and everything, those were things that can kind of throw off. As deep as we are, you know, it is very much next man up, and you know, we got to be able to last 10 straight games in the fall, which is unreal. Now, some exciting preseason accolades have been given out. Six players were named to the preseason all conference list, the most in the Sun Belt's East Division. And today, Micah Abraham and Owen Porter were both named to the 2023 Bronco Nagar. Nagurski trophy watch list and award given to the best defensive football player in the country. Speaking of the defense, tune back in tonight at 11 o'clock to hear from new defensive coordinator Jason Seymour. Now you have a chance to meet the 2023 Thundering Herd this Saturday night at a fan first day happening in the Joan. Not only will you get to meet some of the football players, but this year you'll also get a chance to meet athletes from volleyball, men's and women's soccer, and men's and women's cross country too. Now this is a free event that's open to the public. It will run from 530 to 7 o'clock again in the Joan on Saturday night.